So we're going just straight arm drag? Let's make life easy and just call it an arm drag without attacking the leg. Just because I, I think that's easier than anything else. So arm drag is what we, I mean, we consider it short offense. What, what short offense means is usually upper body or like short and tight, like a front head or like a duck on a really short offense, something like that. Or in this case, a drag to short offense, right? One of the, probably the biggest reasons we don't get our arm drags is because we do it from too far away. Whether we grab a wrist and try to drag, or we do like Mr. Miyazaki, you gotta, you gotta drag here, then we end up doing this dance, right? So one of the easiest ones. Wax on, wax off, and the armpit step. I pull, he pulls, and we do this, do this, this, and then we just face each other, right? You guys can all probably see it, right? It happens all the time. So, two reasons that's happening. One, I'm not getting my kick in, and two, I'm just too far away. I do a drag from out here, look my hands. Sometimes you see this too. I start the drag and he pulls his hand back. All right, and sometimes I'll even slap it. Like, what? I'm trying to grab his arm, but he's pulling it back every time because I'm really far away. All right, so when we're wrestling and I want to hit my drag, this is, for me, the easiest setup in the world. I don't like this one. I think it's, it's too telegraphed. This is great when you're learning how to do the drag. Okay, put your hand on the collar, wipe off, drag, right? But in reality, Chuck and I wrestling tends really good sometimes, right? So we're wrestling, right? <laughs> Don't argue with me. All right, so we're wrestling. As soon as he feels this, he's out. He's gone early, right? And we end up doing the dance. So I actually like doing it from wrist control because I can get really close. All right, now we're wrestling. I have wrist control. Now I can decide when I hit my drag, right? And I'm a lot closer. When I'm here, or when I do this, as soon as he feels this, he's, he's just gone. He's not, he's not there. If I can control the wrist, now I can get to here, and even if he tries to pull back, I still have his, his arm, right? And I'll have different stuff later where I can pull attack here, he sets that leg back, go under, go like fireman scary, stuff like that. Because I have control of the arm. Anyways, back to simple stuff. So, we're wrestling. For the sake of argument, we're both righty leads. I'm gonna get same side hand, okay? Personally, I like to go outside step and connect the hips. So I'm gonna pull the arm down, kind of towards my hip, and go up into his armpit here. I wanna get, I like to get my shoulder on top because if I don't get the drag, if he starts circling away, I still have a really good position here. I can keep pulling him down because I got weight on his arm. All right. So, here, outside step here. Now when I get here, I'm gonna circle my left hip, towards his right hip, and block off that space. Now it's a very simple finish. I take an extra step out here because there's no post, everything's tight. Take a step. How important is it to like grab the hip? Super important, right? So even more important is, is this space. All right, so this, is, this space is what ruins arm drags. If I hit a really good drag really quick, right, but I leave that space, he's gonna circle back out. So as soon as I hit my drag, I need to do a 180. This hip has to go on itself here. Now we're looking the same direction, and this space is blocked off. The reason this is important is he can't move his arm forward because I'm grabbing it, but he can move it back. So if this space isn't blocked off, he's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna put that arm in between. Now he's gonna pull. Here. So you take a really good grip, arm throw or something. You take a really good grip on the hip. Yes. So when you go, like, how how strong does your arm grab the hip? Do you grab really really tight? Yeah. I mean, I just want to get like yeah, that. Yes. I mean, does that feel tight? That, that's pretty damn tight. It's pretty tight. I mean, I feel like it's tight. <laughs> I think I could slip out like going like this though. I think I could. Oh yeah. Yeah. Push but, but not if you if you take a big grip. It's kind of. Oh! <laughs> this for me? All right. <laughs> All right. I'm not a white belt anymore. This sucks. Hey, I can't say <laughs> this guy is the probably most. I gotta be honest. Probably the most overdue white belt, blue belt, whatever you call it. He deserves this blue belt. Oh, yeah. Pretty well. Oh, yeah. Very, very, very confident. <laughs> Good job. 
You got to have a good grip on the hip, guys. Get a hold of that belt. Like, Grab the belt. That's good enough. All right. All right. Sure, you want me to finish? Yeah, finish up. Finish out. Finish out. Okay, so again, uh, super simple. Same side wrist grab. As I go ahead and take my outside step, there is also one with an inside step that's more Greco, right? Where I go here, right? Now I'm doing the same thing. I'm hip to hip, so you can't get this arm through, but it's more of a Greco thing where we're gonna go flying. This is more folk style, freestyle, and grappling because I have the option to grab the leg, right? Right here. So I like outside step as a more general thing. Okay, so wrist goes down, step. Once I get here, pivot. Turn, it's really simple. Hold on. So then choke them out once. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then choke. Look at those, those gigantic biceps. Yeah, my biceps are All too right. big for real. Okay, guys, let's get a little work on that arm. Let's go. One, two, three. All right, guys. Teach me grappling. This is what we do sometimes. We like to have fun with our promotions. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Congrats, Anton! <laughs> no, I, was like, I, was, I don't know how you even got it. Everybody, give him some love. Give him some love. Give him some love. Go, shake his hand. Shake the man's hand. Give him some love. All right, go over. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Later.